Alright what's up Amayan, today I will show you how to update or install all of the C++ packages all at once because they are not available in Windows updates. So for this I am going to show you I have these updates available or not. So for this I am going to open up PowerShell and I am gonna use the WinKit upgrade command to see if we got some C++ upgrades right here. As you can see I got different C++ upgrades available which I need to upgrade. There are some different packages, so I'm gonna update all of them at once. For this, I'm gonna provide this link in the description, so you just have to go to this link and download the latest available version right here. And select the nearest server. I'm gonna be selecting the first one. You should always select the first one. So let's save it. Let's wait for the download to complete, and then we should install the download and it will automatically have installed all of the C++ packages or if you do not have already installed or if you have already installed those packages it will update all of these packages at once so let's wait for the download to complete and then I will show you how this is going to work now I am going to speed up the download so you do not have to wait for the download much longer this will only take seconds Wow, oh, damn, I wish this was the real speed of the internet connection. Okay, now the download is almost going to be completed. Yep, it slows down at the end. Here we go, the download is now almost complete. Now let's open up the folder and then we need to extract the file. Okay, the file is now extracted. Open it up. Here you can see there is a install, install all option. Just open it up and right click on it and run as administrator. This will install all of the C++ packages available in this folder at once without you having to do anything. In their default settings of course. Let's wait for the installation to complete and then we'll get right to it. Man, this is so much better than having to install all of the packages one by one. And also, this is the actual speed of the install. Not, I'm not, I haven't, I have not just speed up the process. Okay, now here you can see we have upgraded. Let's run the command line again. And now we can see we have fewer packages upgrades available. Uh, the C++ packages are all up to date right now. But still you can see we have two updates still available. These are not updates, these are just here. They do not upgrade any much. Let me show you. First I'm going to try and update the first one and then you will see there is no new package available. So let's enter this command and then copy this ID, paste it here. And now if we enter it. This will try to update but you will see there is no new package available which means this is already up to date. Let's try the other one. Let me just type this out here and then I'm going to copy this ID again. The second ID. Let's copy it and then paste it right here. Hit enter and then you will see there is no new update available. Which means all of my C++ packages are now up to date. If I have any C++ missing packages, they are all installed. You do not have to worry about any issues right here. So this is how you can install all of the C++ packages all at once. Anyway, that's been it. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye.